I'm Jessica. I'm Lindsay. And welcome to Calvary Lighthouse Sunday School. Well, Lindsay, what's going on with you today? I am really excited. And why are you really excited? I have a new friend. A new friend? That's exciting. Her name is Lila. And where did you meet Lila? She's a new girl in my class. Oh, I see. The first day she came to school, she was really scared and sad. Oh, well, going to a new school can be pretty scary. I did it a lot when I was a kid. I did not want to be, I did not want her to be sad. So I asked the teacher if she could sit next to me. Well, that was very nice of you. When she told me her favorite animal was frogs, I, we just had to be friends. I didn't know you still liked frogs. <laughs> oh, yeah. now I like Lila too. I asked her to come to church with us when it opens back up. Wow, that's great. That reminds me of our Bible event for today. Is it about a new girl that likes frogs? Uh, no. But it is about a woman whose name was Lydia, and she listened to a disciple of Jesus named Paul, and then she was kind to him. How is that like me? Well, you were kind to your new friend, and you invited her to come to church. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, before we hear more about Lydia, we're going to practice our take-home point. So, just like always, I'll say the first part, and you guys say the second part, okay? Let me teach it to you first, though, because you can't say it if you don't know it. So, um, the first part is, which is my part, join God's family, and then your guys' part will be, I will be kind to others. Okay. Okay, so you guys at home, your part is, I will be kind to others. All right. Are you guys ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. Lindsay's ready. I'm ready. All right. Join God's family. I will be kind to others. Very good. Okay, so for our Bible event today, like I said, I have a special guest, and she is going to come and share a, her story with you guys. So stay tuned, because here she comes. Hi, boys and girls. My name is Lydia, and Jessica asked me to talk to you about my story from the Bible. Paul wrote about it in the book of Acts. So I really love the color purple. I used to sell things that were purple because I just love it so much. But you know what I love even more? It's Jesus. And I want to tell you how one time I paid attention to some men talking about <laughs> Jesus. And one of those men's name was Paul. So I was down at the river with my friends, because that's where we go. We didn't have a whole lot of things to do, but sometimes we'd wash our clothes in the river, and that's where I would go and chat with my friends. And there were some gentlemen that came, and they were talking to all the women, and they were talking to them about Jesus. And so I just, I wanted to hear what they had to say, so I paid attention. So I had already known about God, but listening to Paul, he taught me more. So he taught me that God had a son, and God's name, and that son's name was Jesus. And he, Jesus, he just loved everyone so much that he died on the cross. And he told us that Jesus didn't stay dead. I asked Paul if my family could join God's family. And Paul said, if we could place our trust in Jesus, we would become family and we would be welcomed. And so right then, Paul, he baptized me with water. And we were just so happy and we wanted to repay Paul that we invited Paul and all of his friends to come to my house for dinner. So... That's my story, and it's, it's just important to always remember to be kind to people, especially if they do just something awesome and amazing for you. So, I'm sorry I can't talk long. I have to go sell more of my purple cloths. But don't forget to be kind to one another and love Jesus. Bye. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that special guest speaker. 
she had a great story to tell. So I'm actually going to check to see how well you were paying attention. So if you weren't paying attention that well, maybe you want to rewind the video and watch it again before you do <laughs> yeah. this part because it's a little quiz. So I'm going to kind of give you a quiz and recap what she told you so that we can answer some questions and see who can get the most points. Um, I wonder if you guys can Me beat and Lindsay and Lance. So Lindsay and Lance, Lance are going to write our points up here, right here. Yep, and they're going to write their answers on these boards. So you're going to have a choice of two different Ew. answers. So, are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, I'm going to hold up two cards, and you're going to have to pick the right word um, that fills the right in the answer. blank, okay? Or answers the question. So, um, our okay. special guest, her name was Lydia, and her favorite color was... Was it pink, pink or, or purple? purple? Write your answer down. Was it pink or purple? Lindsay Lance, write your answer down. Don't show each other. Pink or purple? Oh, Lance, Lance doesn't want to write, write, write his answer. Which one is it, Lance? It's purple. Oh, you gotta whisper it to me next time. Okay. I wasn't looking. <laughs> Alright, okay. right, are we ready? Yep. All right, reveal your answers. What if we have the same answer? You both get a point. Lance, reveal your answer. All right, we have two purples, and the correct answer is purple. <laughs> You're right. Lydia's favorite color was purple. All right, erase your answers. If you got that right, give yourself a point. This is actually probably going to be really easy for me, Lance. All right, now, in Lydia's story... She said that she was down by the river when one of Jesus' disciples was there talking to all of the women. Which disciple was there and talked to Lydia? Was it Peter or Paul? This is a very hard one. Uh, yeah, me and Lance probably Was it paying Peter or Paul? Paul? I know. Well, who, who was it, Lance? I'm guessing. Come on, you just do it for me, Bubba. It's hard for me to write it and hold these. No peeking. Lindsay's trying to peek at Lance's answer. No peeking. I'm probably in a room. What does it say on the back of that? Oh, no. <laughs> All right, scribble that out for me, will you? Yeah. Uh, here you go. Oh, Lance, good. Hopefully you have your answer. It's a little hard for Lance to write. He's younger than Lindsay. Almost done. All right. Reveal your answers. They're both ready. And what was your guys' answers? We have, ooh, we have Lance has Paul and Lindsay has Peter. So someone's going to take the lead here. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Who was right? Drum roll, please. And the answer was Paul. No! She was talking to Paul. Lance, you get a point. You raised your answers. So Lydia was talking to Paul down by the river. Okay. All right. I think they get easier from here, okay? So Paul told Lydia that God had a son. <laughs> what was one. <laughs> God's son's name? What if someone wrote the wrong Was one? it Bob <laughs> or Jesus? <laughs> Bob. What is God's son's name? Is it Bob or Jesus? Write your answers, please. Bob. Bob or Jesus? Let's see who gets the son right. You can look in the camera lens to spell it if you want. Well, let's see. Lindsay's got her answer locked in. Does anybody need to phone a friend? Do you guys know what that is? That's from a funny show. It's not really a funny show. It's a game show <laughs> where you could call a friend if you got stuck on a question. All right. Lance is writing his answer, his last couple letters. Done. Are we ready? And the name of God's son is... Reveal! Reveal your answers. What did you write there? In Jesus slash Bob. <laughs> you can't have both answers. I know, it's, it's Jesus. She, her actual answer is Jesus. And what did Lance write? Lance wrote I did Jesus, Jesus slash too. Bob. And the correct answer is, I hope everybody got this one right. It was easy. It was Jesus. 
I think this the whole Bible would sound way different if his name was Bob. If, name, if God's son's name was Bob. Me and Lace were playing. Bob a game died tonight. on the cross to save us from our sins. That sounds kind of funny. Me and me and Lace were playing a game today, and you pretend to name all the chickens Bob. Oh, that, that's not where I got that question from. But all right, <laughs> here we go. Next question. He actually so, did though, like literally. Lydia told us that Jesus loved everyone so much that he died on something. What did he die on? Ooh, I think I just gave away the answer if you were paying attention. I already have the answer. Did he die on the cross? Or a bed. Or a bed. <laughs> what did Jesus die on? Did he die on a cross or a bed? Easy. This one's an easy one at home too, guys. I mean, well, 20 more seconds. Oh, no, he's done. All right. Reveal your answers. What did you guys say at home? We have cross for Lindsay and cross for Lance. And the correct answer is cross. Jesus died Yay. on the cross. This has four points. Oh, yeah. Well, you know. All yeah, right. It's a Paul one, right? All right. Now, this was an yeah. easy one. We only, have, we only have two more questions left, guys. Let's go. Just get one more. Long okay. So. I die. Ooh. I don't know if I remember if Lydia said this when she was talking to you guys or not. But you I think you guys go. know. Were you if, here? if you, I watched her. I watched her video. Okay. Um, I want to know if you guys watched our videos from before. You should know this answer. So this might be your know. opportunity to get ahead. Because Lance doesn't, he doesn't oh. always help us with the videos, so you, Lindsay might be able to tie it up. All right, here we go. So, okay. Jesus died on the cross. Did Jesus stay dead is the answer. Yes or no? We have to answer yes or no. Did Jesus stay dead? Not did Bob stay dead. Did Jesus stay dead? <laughs> oh, sorry. Didn't this is that? easy for Lance, though, Mom. All right, reveal your answers. Mom, but I'm not going to hide up him. Reveal your answers. We have a N-O for no, and a very big no for <laughs> Lindsay. And that is correct. That is a very big no. No, Jesus did not stay dead. So, then Lydia... Told us how she asked Paul if she could join God's family. And Paul told her that she could, right? If she what? Does he remember? If they could place her trust in Jesus. Yeah. Right? And so then what Paul baptized mm -hmm. Lydia. Now mm -hmm. this one's tricky. Oh, not yes. really. It's not Excuse me. It's not. So, what did Paul baptize Lydia in? Did he baptize her in apple juice <laughs> or water? <laughs> <Hang on. laughs> Don't say anything. Did Lydia get baptized in apple juice or water? Why would it be in apple juice? <laughs> Don't give away the answers. You just gave away the answer, Lance. I don't know. What if he's... Maybe it was apple juice. What do you think, Lance? Mm. Lindsay has her answer. We're waiting on Lance. Okay. Lindsay wrote hers very fast. Yeah, that... Mm, yay. All right. That A is, looks like a Q. Now, go ahead and reveal your answers. Oh, wait. But Lindsay's fixing. Lance wrote, real close, water. And we oh, have lost, water. Did you guys write water at home? If Wait, you well, I'm just not writing down my scores. You are correct what? because the answer is water. Jesus. How many does Lance have? I have, oh, but I was telling the boys and girls something. Uh, Paul baptized Lydia in water. People don't get baptized in apple juice. That would be kind of funny and sticky, I think. <laughs> okay, so how many? How so many Lance, got, got, Lance got all five correct. So he has five points. And that means Lindsay has four points. So if these guys were competing against each other, Lance would have won. We did you Did you compete against your brothers and sisters at home or your friends? 
Did you it's win? Did you nice. get them all? It doesn't matter if you got them all. What, I'm, what matters is if you if you know the story and you know that it is important <laughs> to be like Lydia and to be like Lindsay and be kind to others. When, uh, <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> but when Paul <laughs> shared Jesus' story with all of the women, <laughs> the women were kind to him. I need and, more room and that's what Jesus wants us to do. He wants us to be kind to others. And that's why yes. our take-home point is join God's family. Come to Jesus. No, that was last week. Join <laughs> God's family. I will be kind to others. Remember? I will be kind to others. I oh, forgot. So, we have um, a craft for you guys. Oh, you Jesus. She really liked that part. <laughs> <laughs> we have a craft for you guys today so as a way for you to be kind to others. So, for our craft, you're probably going to need <laughs> scissors. You're going to need Scissors. some sort of paper. It doesn't really matter what color. And you can use colored pencils, crayons, markers, um, just a pen. Um, whatever you want. So, and actually I have a special surprise for you today because I am not showing what you the it? craft. What is it? Lindsay is oh, going yes, to I, I know it. <laughs> teach you guys the craft today. So yeah. Lindsay is going to have center stage to show you the craft. So go get those materials and we will get started on our craft. In What's materials? Oh, sec. yes. Hi everyone. Um, we're going to get right into the craft. <laughs> so, first we're going to oh. need a piece of paper, whatever color you want, it's or white, whatever. And then, um, we're going to be making, like, coupons to, like, be kind to other people. So, so then you give it to them, and you do that for them. So, first, you're going to start with drawing four lines, like... Like this. This is not going to be even at all, but whatever. <laughs> like this. So, then, you are going to not cut it out yet. You're going to, um, you're going to write the coupon that you want to do for them. So, you could say maybe wash the dishes or pick up the other person's toys. So pick up your toys, make your bed, clean the bathroom, mow the grass, and or make dinner. Or you could come up with your own and write them on there. And you could also draw pictures with it. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do uh, make your bed. So make your bed so and then you could draw a picture of a bed so you go so then next you're gonna write to be kind I will um then you'd write say make your bed so I'll go to be kind I my pencil broke I will and then make your bed or whichever one you want to do So, yeah, then you'd, um, draw a picture of a bed, so, I'm probably, it's probably gonna be really bad, but <laughs> whatever, I'm not gonna make it realistic, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> so bad. There. Okay, that's my bed. <laughs> okay, so then you draw your next one. So, I 
I will clean the bathroom. I'm not going to write that one down. Mow the grass. And then draw a picture of all the grass. I'm not gonna draw a picture of that, but I'm just gonna grade it down. So it will be kind. I will um make dinner. It's an N. Make dinner. the next one so before I um, draw this last one I'm gonna show you this board of things you could do so wash the, wash the dishes pick up your toys bake your bed clean the bathroom mow the grass or make dinner um, or you could come up with your own And you could do it to your fam. You could give the coupons to your family, your family, or maybe your friends. But yeah, probably not your friends, but um, your family. So yeah, now I'm gonna draw my next one. Two, be kind. I spelled kind wrong that last time. Kind. I, I'm not very good at this right now. Okay, I will wash the dishes. Can I write that one down? No, okay. Wash the dishes. I'm gonna fix kind because it's really bothering me. <laughs> okay. Andy. <laughs> okay. So now you're going to cut them out with some scissors. Be careful. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it out now. Okay. Cut out on the line that you drew. <laughs> I am not used to doing this by myself, but I like it. <laughs> them out now. Okay, I'm good. Bye. Alright, let's see how Lindsay did here. She made a coupon um, book. You guys made a coupon book? This is very nice. So you guys could, if you wanted to, you could get them stapled together, but that'll, then you can yeah, just pull them off. Yeah. Um, or you can just leave them like this, and then you give them to somebody. Right now, you can just go and give them to anybody yeah. in your family, and then whenever they want... <laughs> They will say, oh, Lindsay, I'm really tired today, and I would just really love it if you made dinner for me today. Yeah, and you, and you have to be, you have to actually, you can't be grumpy about it. You can't say, oh, fine, I'll make dinner. You gotta, you have to go like, okay, I'll make dinner, blah, 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 blah. So, <laughs> so these coupons you do with, um happiness in your heart you can't do them with grumpiness in your heart because then it makes the other person that you gave your kindness to feel bad so you have to make sure that you're doing it with happiness in your heart yeah. even if you really might not want to do it at that moment um you're kind of making a promise to be kind and do something to them for them so make sure that on your coupons that you actually pick something you can actually do um i see that Lindsay wrote mow the grass um we've never let her mow the grass before so that might actually <laughs> take some um 
teaching on how to use a lawnmower, <laughs> and we might want to wait a couple I'll of years on it. it. I'll, I'll hold on to this one till she's like 11. It's okay. Yikes. <laughs> that can take forever. <laughs> so, um, thank you. Uh, uh, save these, give them to whoever you want, and make sure to be kind. We do have a song, and then we're going to do our prayer real quick. So, our song is sung to Frere Jaca. We have actually sung to Frere Jaca before, but um, it goes like this. I will be kind. I will be kind. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Jesus says to be kind. Jesus says to be kind to others. To others. So, we'll sing it again. You guys can sing with us. I will be kind. What? Lizzie was ready to go. Are you guys ready? I was ready. <laughs> All right, here we go. I will be kind. I will be kind. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Jesus says to be kind. Jesus says to be kind to others. To others. All right, Lance came back for our prayer. He keeps coming and going. So Lance wanted to come back for prayer time. So since he's here. um, We're very smooth. That's right. We're, we're, we're getting real cozy over here. Come on, Lance, get in here. There we go. There we go. Lance is in here. We're ready to pray. You can come All right, here we go. Right so prayer hands, prayer heads, and prayer hearts. All right. Now I'll cover it up like this. All right. Are we ready? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for our lesson today. Thank you so much for our visitor, Lydia, who shared the story from the book of Acts. Um, we love, love, love being kind to others. So help us continue to be kind to other people. Um, and continue to encourage our hearts to share the story of Jesus with other people. Invite them to come to church like Lindsay did with her friend. Um, it's the easiest way to share Jesus with others, especially if you're just not even sure what to say. Just inviting someone to church is a very kind thing to do. Lord, um, I pray that all of the children who made a coupon book can honor the kindness with um, kindness in their hearts and love in their hearts because that's what you would like us to do. Um, and we pray for the health and safety of all the people in the world. And we pray that, you know, things can get back to a, a, a more normal state soon. And we can see all, see all of each other again soon in Jesus name. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Yes. Amen. All right. Thank you so much. Bye. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Come to Jesus. Yes. Come. Come, come to, to Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Okay, no, actually, bye.